Hey troops, XGen UK here, and in today's video, we are well. I'm going to show you how to update your BIOS on your motherboard. Um, I do apologise. I am filming this on my um, phone um, because I couldn't get a way to capture it on my desktop, and I think it'd be easier this way because it's showing you in you know in person how it's done. So what we're going to need to make this work is we need one of these little bad boys, a little flash drive, and that is it. So the first thing we're gonna do is, I do apologize about the mess in my room at the minute, we're moving things around, we're decorating in the, so you're gonna stick that in the USB, any USB, and plug it in, and then we will go back to the uh, desktop itself, and then we're gonna go on to my PC, and then we're just gonna to go to the USB drive. And then as we can see, there's nothing in there. That's what we want. We want absolutely nothing showing. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to unplug this. I'm gonna put that there. And then we're gonna, we're gonna restart the PC and we're gonna check the current bias that we're on right now. So we're gonna restart. As you can see, the computer's restarting. And for my motherboard, it's Ace Use. So I press, I think it's F2. So you wait until it restarts. All depending on what motherboard you're using, it's obviously different for every motherboard. For, for me, it's just F2. So just F tap F2 to get into the, the BIOS. There we go. Mine's the X570. Asus, and as you can see, you can come up with this menu. Um, you can use your mouse, but fucking like, you know, hell, it's it's hard work. You know what I mean? So um, I'll just go into the. Uh, you can either just do F7, which for me, which is the advanced mode, and it will just come into that. And as you can see here, I'll zoom in. Um, it says BIOS Virgin, and then here we go. 2607 and then that was the date that was installed so what we're going to do is we're going to get that oh hard work i mean you can just do this on your keyboard probably make it a lot easier just exit it and then just uh, save changes and restart even though we didn't do anything but we're just checking to see let me just make sure so we're 2607 Remember that number, 2607. So we're on 2607. So now we're going to go back onto the desktop and we're going to literally, we're going to go onto the Asus web page and we're going to see if there's an updated version. So it's going to be pretty much the same for every motherboard, obviously, just depending. Obviously, you need to find out, obviously, what motherboard you're using, whatever make it is. And then it's going to be pretty much the same all around. So this will work for any motherboard. Obviously, I'm doing it on Asus. So, so all you got to do, let's just get all this uh, crap that's loading up off the screen. And then... Um, type in so there we go I've got it, got it in the search so it's going to put Asus which is my motherboard X570 turf gaming BIOS update so you just whack that in so whatever whatever motherboard you're using just obviously put that in and it should come up straight away and then you come up to the main web page you'll come up here and then um, you obviously go to the um, the motherboard that you're using which for me is the turf gaming X570 bus and as you can see here, it's a driver and tools. And uh, we want to get the most latest one, which is here, 2802. You can see all the ones. And there's our one there from before, and this is the latest one. So what we're gonna do is we are going to get this little bad boy. I'm gonna plug it back in again. Go 
because I didn't actually know that my camera right has got a 4K60. So it'd be interesting to see how this image quality actually comes out on the camera. So we plug that in and then that's it plugged in and then we're going to go to download. It's going to download it in the bottom left corner. Going to open up the file. And then what we're going to do is we're going to whack this into the uh, flash drive which we're doing here and now we've got that in the flash drive so all we're going to do now is restart the PC and then again we're just going to tap F2 to get into the BIOS Right, we're back in the BIOS. So we're going to press uh, F7 again. And then we're going to go all the way to Tool. Then you're going to go to the top one here. This is the ASU East flash drive. It's going to be similar to obviously other motherboards. It's pretty much the same sort of thing. You're looking for that sort of uh, option to pick. Just press Enter. And then we're going to go, we're going to click on this one here. Do you want to read this file? And then you're just going to put yes. And then it will come up the version. Obviously, as you can see, our current version is 2607. And we're going to be installing 2802. And now that will put us all up to, up, up to date. And then that is it now. It is now installing that BIOS. So we'll give that a few minutes. It depending on obviously the speed of your computer and that um, would be dependent on how long this will actually take. Obviously the uh, I guess the quicker your PC is, the quicker this will take, I guess, and the slower your PC, the the, 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 the slower it's going to take. But pretty much, we want to keep this BIOS up to date all the time, obviously, because it's going to keep, obviously, your system performance, your security, um, everything, it's just going to keep everything up to date, and obviously that's going to maximise your overall experience as well like it's going to give you better gaming performance everything um just better overall this is why we need to keep it up to date i mean for me it's with amd motherboards they they seem to be quite frequent these bios updates so i mean it's been a while since i've been on intel it's been quite a few years i've been with amd for a while but um something you have to take in consideration consideration with amd is that it does these motherboards need a lot of updates, especially with obviously the new uh, Gen 3 coming out because they're constantly updating, the, you know. So, um, yeah, I've got to keep these uh, BIOSes up to date. So, there we go, it's almost done there. Obviously, it took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to take, 
but I'll probably just edit that bit out of the video because otherwise it'll just be like a 20 minute video. But it takes a bit of time. But as you can see, it's, uh, it's done its job and uh, it's successfully installed. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna double check. So we're gonna let the PC restart itself. We're gonna press F2. So we can get into the BIOS. And then it's gonna come up with, uh, obviously, to let you know that it's installed and everything kind of resets itself. Um, and all we do is just press enter. And then uh, it's either uh, right there, we'll press F1 to get us back into the BIOS. And as you can see, it's been successfully installed 2802. Um, obviously, once you've done that, that will reset all your settings. So any sort of like overclocks, anything you've if you've messed around with any sort of settings in your motherboard or your BIOS, it, this will restart it when you completely put everything back to default when you uh, put in a new BIOS. So just take that into consideration. So all we're going to do now is we're just going to literally just press F7. We don't want to tweak any, anything because I'm just going to leave everything as default for now. And then um, all we're going to do is save changes and restart. There we go. Boom. Right. And then that is it. It's successfully been installed. Um, so that is how you update your BIOS um, on your motherboard. So you are now ready to go and game, go and do whatever you want to do on your computer. Anyway, if you guys like the video, please like it. If you dislike the video, dislike it. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.